Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight tilt. martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where most men are terrified of being. So for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a youth. And that's not always advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he sell, he's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming. Tale of the day for this bantamweight fight. So two years in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Pepper number six. And now it's easy to corner. Fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 15 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Ready. All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick -em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key match. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Under three minutes, remain in round one. Two, three, two. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown there? Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Getting it to land exactly where you want it. Nice. Right hook coming, it's blocked. Now connects with the right. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. And they separate. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Piotr Young. At the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Forty-four 
45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, big left hook there. Wow, huge head kick. Final seconds here. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected what we saw this on the mat as we go into the second round. Oh, An edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Able to check the high kick. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh man, head kick lands. And he that comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Just over three minutes to go now. Able to check that kick as well. And they separate. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, that's a nice strike. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate. He's very fast. He has a real... So sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Kick. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Poulier say. Twenty seconds to go, round two. This big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? And the horn sounds on round two. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round. DC, take us through the replay. Level, right? Kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets in. I expect the action to really pick up. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Oh, lands another. Head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Straight punch lands. Oh, big head kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. 
Boxing. Boxing. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Punch over the top. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Can't take many of those, you better check. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Just missed with the left there. There. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and they got right to the corner. Twenty seconds to go, and he can. Oh! Oh no! What a fifteen minutes put forth! So the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scoring cards for a decision. All three judges scored this contest 9-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Peppa Nomerstein! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponents never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision. Don't you know everything live now, if it ain't put it to press?